Good morning fellow YouTubers, uh, welcome to this video. It is the review of the MacBook Pro uh, Retina model. Um, this is my my own MacBook Pro and I thought I would give a, give a short review of um, the main features between the Retina as well as the, the previous or the non-Retina model. Okay, so maybe we'll start off with um, with the external or the main differences uh, between the Retina model as well as the, uh, the previous models. Now, um, first off, um, the model is is thinner than the previous model. Okay, it's, uh, we'll go th we'll go through um, uh, the differences of how how thin it is or the weight savings, uh, you know, uh, with the last model because you still can. I shouldn't say the last model because you still can get. Um, uh, I think the MacBook Pro 9s uh, at some stores, even the Apple Store. Um, just, um, just I think it's a strategy from Apple to uh, to get more revenue from you guys. So uh, first off, I think um, the main difference is we'll start with the ports. Okay, we'll go um, on this side. So on this side we have the um, uh, the Mac Light. Uh, for the power adapter which is a, which is the most uh, one of the most things that I really really like about the uh, the MacBook Pros uh, the airbooks um, it's is the Mac like the model the, the mechanisms um, is it's just the pure simplicity okay if you trip over it you don't have to worry about it ever getting um, broken or what have you um, so What's the next one? So we have two um, we have two Thunderbolt ports as opposed to um, as opposed to one uh, from the previous one, and then we have the uh, the three USB ports um, as opposed to only two. Okay, and then we move along to the uh, the audio out for your headphones or your speakers. Um, now on the other side we have the we have the. We have the um, the HD, HDMI output. Sorry, I said three USB th USB three ports. It's it's only two. So uh, there's a HDMI output as well as the um, the the SD card uh, reader. Now uh, the things that you lose from um, from the previous model, I think uh, the most obvious one. Um, you know, as as mentioned with from all of the reviews that we've been reading on the internet, is first is the Ethernet port. Now, that's that in itself is very very controversial. Okay, um, it's got its pluses, but it's got it, its minuses. Um, I think I think losing it, it's a good it's a good thing to have. Okay, because because it, it makes this it makes this um, model more portable I think okay um, I mean look it's it's a it's a contro controversial subject uh, to say to say the least uh, the second one is the optical drive um, now I'm not sure about you but optical drive is uh, is a thing of the past you don't really need an optical drive uh, anymore okay and the third one that you lose is basically um, the firewire port which which is becoming, uh, you know, a, a thing of the past again. Especially how Apple and um, I mean, even you know, uh, the motherboards we see in the PCs now. Uh, they, we we tend to see the Thunderbolts more often than um, than, than FireWise. Okay. Now the things that you do get uh, off on this model is you do get better speakers. Um, Supposedly, um, as well as be better uh, microphone, obviously, um, and then you do get a better battery life, um, which is about 20% longer. But the downside is um, they've made it, they've made it so that you can't really change the battery on this model. Uh, I mean, some places say that you know they can change the battery, but what Apple has said is. Uh, the battery is actually glued to, uh, you know, more like multiple parts. So, if you do remove the battery, then you have a chance, a really, really good chance of damaging um, uh, the keypads or what have you. So, now, 
we'll, we'll go back to the um, the thicknesses of of, the, um, of this one to the previous one okay so I'm not sure whether you, you know you can see it's really hard to um, to have a, uh, a point of reference but basically the difference is it, there's a saving of 70 mils between this one and the older one okay so this one is 180 mil and the other and the older one is 250 mil so 70 mil may not be um, may not be much for some but it's it's a great difference if you put it side by side okay now all of that um, represents a saving of you know it's very, it's surprising but it's a saving of a kilo that's quite a lot okay if you put it in in your backpack if you travel a lot with your laptops I think a kilo a kilo saving I mean that's not including the AC adapter but a saving of one kilo is quite a lot okay I mean just to shave a few a couple of hundred grams from one model to the next is is quite a big deal but a kilo is is a really really big deal now the thing that I uh, haven't that I forgot to mention was um, the RAM if you if you purchase an eight uh, if you purchase an 8 gig model or a 16 gig model you it's it, that's it okay you can't it's not like the previous one it where it is expandable to like 32 or what have you it's when you buy it that's what you get okay because um, uh, the pictures on the internet suggest that uh, it is soldered to uh, to the main board so unless um, you know you're very very handy or you know you know your way around the, um, um, uh, the, the MacBook boards very very well then you know you don't you don't even want to open it now the my first impression is um, my first impression is like looking at the external, uh, looking at the external, um, is uh, is basically it looks very very neat. Okay, it looks very very clean, um, and it looks very very modern. Okay, now a lot of a lot of um, a, lo a lot of manufacturers um, have copied. You know. Uh, the feel, the look, and uh, just the special thing about the MacBook Pros because it is it is unique in its own. Okay, it's uh, it's 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 made in uh, it's made out of aluminium, but not pure aluminium. I think um, it's composite of some sort of material or aluminum, um, but it's still. Um, it's still it's still a very very cool thing I mean I do have to say that um, the speakers here are 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 slightly better than the older one okay I haven't played too much with the older one um, this is quite honest the first MacBook Pro that I have um, reason being is I need to um, I need to make an app so you know I want to I want to have a MacBook Pro now um, Clearly, the display for uh, the display is a big, big difference with the um, um, with the non-retina model. Okay, now this is like the difference is not in there. You can't really compare it. Um, it rep represents 220 uh, pixels per inch, or um, it's you know it's um, like if we're talking about resolution here, guys, it's 2880 by 1800 um, resolution. So that's that just blows everything out of the water um, the 13 inch uh, has a higher um, pixels per inch uh, or um, you know but it it's not really it's not it's it's less than 10 so it's it's not a, it's not a really big difference um, now the thing that I don't really like is this part here I mean um, They've made it so sleek, you know. They haven't really changed the contour of um, of the front um, of this of the MacBook Pros because when you do when you do rest your palm here for for a long time, it still you know it still pushes your palm against it and it's still a bit sharp for my liking anyway. 
okay and the thing that I don't really like as, as sharp as the retina model is um, it's just too glary it, uh, like this is you know like the thing is it's uh, you, it's either you like it or you don't okay there's no there's no uh, halfway point because all of my displays all of my desktop displays uh, at home or at work you know I, I, I very very much preferred anti-glare model but with the MacBook with the MacBook Pros or any other Apple products it's just this shiny uh, display that they have you know it's cool IPS and all that but when you do use it outside or when you do use it you know when you do have like a strong light reflection in your room uh, it makes it a little bit tough um, to stare at uh, at a very long time um, so that's it um, I'm, I, I tried to make this as short as possible but um, hopefully you know I haven't missed anything but if I have shoot me a question and then I'll I'll answer it as soon as possible thank you